This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Rancho Cucamonga, California. At a combined weight of 417 pounds, Nicholas and Matthew Jackson, the Young Bucks. Wearing the same suits that they wore this past Wednesday night than when they, when they attacked not only Sting and Darby Allen, but Sting's family, his sons. And that is the blood of Darby Allen soaked into the fibers of those suits. You want to talk about a message? This is certainly a message right here from the Young Bucks. Yeah, message received. They're worthless. Listen, when we first started AEW, I just absolutely loved Nick and Matt Jackson. They were great. You've known them for years, Excalibur. Did you ever think they would stoop to these depths? They took this thing that they were EVPs. It literally has gone to their brain. It has. In one night, in one moment, they sacrificed their entire reputation, everything that they have worked towards to build in professional wrestling. And their opponents, the team of Mondo Rocks and Robbie Litt. Now, Mondo Rocks, Robbie Litt. Yeah. Local competitors here in the Phoenix area. No question. Trying to make a name for themselves here tonight, but. Good luck to you. Yeah. They. Matthew and Nicholas. I, I, nice names. But I, I oh, stop it. Nice should, names. Should we call them Matthew? And what happens if we call them? Oh boy! The, the, the fist bump. And immediately Matthew seizing on as Robbie lit in the red. Look at that! I didn't expect the vest underneath here. Let me tell you this: if they are EVPs of this company, they do not represent this company. No, and I mean they've been. Threatening people with fines for, for absolutely oh! no reason. Look at Matthew coming back the, the lariat. And to, to ruin the moment of Sting and Darby Allen winning the Tag Team Championships Wednesday night. The legendary career of Sting. Oh! What a kick by Nicholas. Nicholas is going to wrestle with his hat on. Are you kidding me? No. Living neckbreaker, backbreaker combo by the... The young, I mean, do we call them the young boys? I don't know, do we? It's a great question. I'm glad they're having a good time tonight. Oh, and now, Nicholas sending Robbie Lip over the corner. Mondo Rocks tagging in. And, oh, oh, man, he, he wanted, wanted to go for just a collar and elbow, but he got kicked in the gut. You see the blood of Darby Allen. Nice blind tag there. On no Jackson, Nicholas Jackson, excuse me. There you go, get it right. You don't want to get fined. Listen, I, I'm telling you, I hate to even give them their props, but they do know what they're doing in the ring to the Young Bucks. My God. They're former AW World Tag Team Champions. Yeah. One of, if not. The oh, oh, look at this, a low blow. Come on, necessary. Come on, Rick Knox. Well, I mean, I mean, no. Wow. He, he was looking at Matt yeah, Jackson. I know. Matthew just, Jackson, Nicholas taking advantage. He's just frustrated, just. A low blow like that. They don't need to do it. No, they don't. They don't need to do any of this. The, the aggression from the Young Bucks tonight. I, I mentioned on Wednesday. Matthew. Yeah. Very aggressively. With the EVP trigger. Here are your winners. The Young Bucks. Matthew, he, he very aggressively called me into his office. He put his finger in my face. Oh, boy. He said, it's not the BTE trigger anymore. It's the EVP trigger. And that leads me to believe that whether Sting and Darby won or lost on Wednesday night, I mean, something in my gut tells me that they were going to orchestrate this assault on Sting and Darby no matter what. You yeah. think this was happening either way? Yes, I believe that in the core of my being is now Nicholas with the microphone. Do we really have to hear what these men have to say? I guess they're EVPs. Or they're the EVPs. I mean, I, I want to hear you it. You do? I am so tired of the disrespect that each and every one of you fans show us. Matter of fact, in the front row, I heard a heckler calling us by the wrong name.
I told you. It's time to show your EVPs a little more respect. And by showing that respect, call us by our God-given names of Nicholas and Matthew Jackson. I apologize, my, my brother's a bit of a hothead, okay guys? So, hey, listen, 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 listen! I'm sorry, okay, okay. okay. Trying to engage in some good cop, bad cop here. Phoenix is not buying it. Neither am I. The reason we, we're out here in the first place is to say congratulations to AEW's new tag team champions, Darby Allin and Sting. Well, that's nice of them. Oh, stop it. Incredible match, guys. You're out there. You're, you, you're putting your, your blood and, and sweat and tears on the line. You guys crushed it. Congratulations, you're gonna be great champions. But there is one caveat. I got an email, an injury report from Doc Sampson, and apparently both Darb and Sting are a little bit banged up coming after their big win. So we just wanted to say, we're thinking about you guys, we're praying for you guys, and we hope you're okay. However, boys, I wanna make one thing clear. Our goal, our objective, is to get our tag team titles back. And you may be looking at us and going, oh, well, you're EVPs. It's, you, have a, you have EVP status. You're going to politic and you're going to do whatever it takes to do that. No, no, no. We're going to play by the rules, damn it. And we're going to climb our way up to the rankings and have competitive matches like we just did tonight on Rampage. Competitive, my ass. Got to respect that. We will get ranked. We will be number one contenders. And we will get our damn belts. Our two-time former AEW World Tag Team Champions. They could certainly do it again. And we will continue to climb up those ranks Wednesday on Dynamite when you see Nicholas and Matthew Jackson, your EVPs in tag team action. We love you guys so much. You're the oh, greatest fans in the world. Someone get the freaking hook. Let's have a killer show. Thank you, guys. I love being your freaking EVP. I love this job. Best job in the world. Thank you so much. Stick around for the rest of the show. It's gonna be a good one. Let's go!